Sport Express brought to you by MTN. Let's serve you the numbers. Bukayo Saka's 10th assist of the season helps Arsenal overcome Everton to climb up to 9th in the EPL. Stefano Sissipas on beating streak stretches to 8 as the Greek claims the Marseille ATP tour. Tyson Fury knocks out Deontay Wilder in round 7 to become new WBC champion and Asisa Toshuala stars as Barcelona ladies put 6 past Lugrunu. Ayimba's winning streak is snapped at 5 as the NPFL interestingly serves us 5 wins and 5 draws. Messi scores 4 to help Barcelona return to La Liga summit as Simona Halep claims Dubai title after beating Elena Rybakina in 3 sets. Cristiano Ronaldo's record scoring streak continues as Juventus maintain top spot with a 2-1 win over Spal. And this is your number one sports show on radio. My name is Kingsley Apple and welcome to Sport Express brought to you by MTN. Back, it's Monday's edition of Sport Express brought to you by MTN. It's time for the international newsreel. Here's Pedro Peter. Thank you, Kingsley. We start off with the boxing where British pugilist Tyson Fury claimed the World Boxing Council WBC heavyweight title for the technical knockout victory over American Monty Wilder at the MGM Brand Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada last weekend. The 31 year old nicknamed the Gypsy King took control in the highly anticipated bout between the two Titans as he knocked Wilder down twice in rounds 3 and 5 before the referee intervened in the seventh round where Wilder's corner threw in the towel. Fury now holds the WBC crown and, and could take on two time heavyweight the champion Anthony Joshua if super promoter Eddie Hearn can get a deal across the line. To tennis, Romanian top seed Simona Halep emerged the winner of the Dubai Duty Free Championships after defeating <coughs> Elena Rybakina of Kazakhstan in the final last weekend. The two time Grand Slam champion was made to work hard, losing the opening set but recovered in the second and third set tie break to break Rybakina 3 6 6 3 7 6 2 for her first title of the year. The victory sees Halep win the Dubai Duty Free Championships for only the second time, with the first coming in the year 2015 while making it a 20th WTA career title. Over to the gentlemen, Greek second seed Stefano Sissipas successfully defended his Open 13 title following his three sets victory over Canadian second seed Felix Oji Aliasin in the final at Marseille on Sunday. The 21-year-old had little problems on the day as he saw off Oji Aliasin 6-3, 6-4 to win his second Open 13 title. Lastly, the results of some NBA matches Oklahoma City founder beat the San Antonio Sports 131 to 103. Chicago Bulls beat the Washington Wizards 126 117. Los Angeles Lakers beat the Boston Celtics 114 112. Portland Trail Blazers were too good for the Detroit Pistons 107 104. Toronto Raptors annihilated the Indiana Pacers 127 81. Denver Nuggets beat the Minnesota Timberwolves 128 116. While the New Orleans Pelicans the Thank you very much, Pedro Peter. After the break, the Nigerian Sports Scene. It's time for the Nigerian Sports Scene on Sports Express brought to you by MTN. Bolu Omoni is here. Bolu, let's start off from the Nigerian Professional Football League. Well, surprisingly, four games ended goalless draws. Wow. Ruby Stars play to United, MFM Heartland, Sunshine Stars Rangers and um, Dakada FC Quara United. Well, I wouldn't have even put my money on all of these games not to produce a single goal. The Gal Golden Stars beat Ricky Torres two goals to one. Same result as Rivers United beat Kano Pillars. Adama United also 2-1. They defeated FC Fan Yuba. Aqua United and Wolves ended 1-1. One, one, one. Nasara United, they ended um, Aimba's five-match winning run. Two goals to nil. They defeated in what were your thoughts? Uh, well, um, there were 10 games, but one of the weekends where you don't see many goals, just 14 goals, four of them were late, and two early goals, and only two penalties were scored. And uh, well, I think Dakada will have the right to the NPFL not to play on Saturday. The last time they played on the Saturday, they also ended in goalless draw. Adam Moore United, um, they, they won, uh, Jubilee scored a brace in that game against the final, but Aqua United left it very late to get an equalizer thanks to the Freaky F Young. Then late drama in Rivers United versus Cano Pillars game, as the game was flowing by, um, at 1 0. Then 80th minute, Clay to score the second goal, but Rabbi Ali put one back for Pillars, but it was just too late for them to get any points. An early goal for Cassina in the 6 minute by Joshua Atule was all they need to defeat Abia Warriors. And Jigawa came from behind to defeat Wiki 2 1 in that game. But the biggest result of the weekend definitely is the National United, like you said, defeating Ayimba. Now, this weekend, the bottom three teams all won their games, and only Rivers United of the top seven teams picked up three points. Others ended in draw or a loss. Wow. It, 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 it just means that 
the NPFL is We're sending back. Yeah, to, to, to the interesting times. Okay, um, but you have something on the NFF and Asaba Stadium. I hope we are not building up for another kind of issue. Well, uh, from the NFL president, Amadou Pili, he said uh, we are planning to more like regress the Asaba Pili to make it ready for the Super Bowl game so nobody will be able to complain. And I said to myself, so we all know there's a problem with this pitch. Then why are we forcing the Super Eagles to play there? Remember before Cap chose um, Uyo for the last time, Ross said he has a plan. He wants to play on a good pitch, play the ball on the ground and at length. But Asaba can't do that. I said to myself, if the Super Eagles lose any game in that Asaba pitch, General can be justified that, well, I don't want to play, you are forcing us. If the place is not ready, then we don't have to play there. Then he went on to say, well, my, uh, my governor and my father as the governor of Delta, uh, is planning on making sure games and things that have to do with NFL sponsoring and so will be done in Asaba. I, I think we are doing it the wrong way. If the place is ready, let's say it's ready. If it's not ready, from people that have been to those places, Uyo, Asaba, Edo State, they've clearly said that the best pitch we have in Nigeria is Uyo. Everybody has said it knows Uyo is the best. Okay. Let me say this into God's hands we commit our sports and football. <laughs> Bulu, um, you have something else for us, but should we leave that for tomorrow? Uh, okay, for, okay, well, maybe on the uh, beach, I guess, but the yeah. sad note um, the death of uh, Remo Stars player, um, Tiami. Well, there are two different accounts to this story. The Stars or the police are saying they arrested him and he jumped out of the car trying to escape and he got knocked down by a car. The account of his friend that was in the car with him said something different that he was arrested for no reason pushed into the car while they were running they pushed him off the uh, sienna bus onto a moving car he was knocked down and they took him to the hospital the sienna ran away and he had to hold down the other police with them whatever the two stories one it's sad that a player in our league is dying due to a death that can be avoided but we hope we'll get the truth behind this because i saw the video of his father holding down the sas guy that was held down, it was not something good to be heard. Well, Would the truth bring back the loss so? yeah, Definitely not. Okay, let's move on. After the break, the World Soccer Report. Back, Yemi Adesanya is here. It's time for the World Soccer Report on Sport Express, brought to you by MTN. Yemi, let's start from the French Ligon, Marcy 1 non 3, Lille 3, Toulouse Big surprise. Lille. I'm not surprised, but I'm surprised that Lille scored 3 and Usime did not score. Uh, PSG 7 go 3 like this, Bordeaux 4 3. Well, Neymar got a late red card. Is that one? Well, no surprise is here, I mean. No surprise. Let's move to. Except uh, not going to the very draw to win. Yes, to be to beat Marseille. Yeah. Um, Germany, Bayern three two over Paderborn. They left it very very late. Lewandowski yeah. with against. I, I was thinking about all of you the uh, uh, pointers. Van der Beek lost at home to Borussia Dortmund. Haaland scoring again. Yeah. Now, the surprising result for me. Shako for nil. RB Leipzig 5. Bye. After beating Spurs. It was a crazy game. Um, they, you could see a team that was on rampage. They could smell blood. And they went for the kill. So, in we games? Well, in England? That, that team, in Germany? If only they can sustain this push. You know, once Bayern gets there, yeah, it's always difficult. Bring them back to down. Back. It's a tough ask. I just think, uh, I feel um, Nando's mind is just waiting for the bank. He's ah. <laughs> it, it, made for it. In Italy, um, due to the coronavirus issue, they had to just play some selected games. Brescia 1, Napoli 2, Roma 4, Lecce 0, Genoa 2, Lazio 3, Spa 1, Juventus 4. Juventus still top, Lazio 2nd. No, no Lazio surprise. Lazio 20 games undefeated? Yeah, wow. Fantastic one for Simon Itzaga and his boys. Spain, Barcelona 5, Eba nil, <laughs> Messi scoring 4. Uh, he, had, he, 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 had, he had just a 4-game a four game go drought and came back with the one. scored 4. <laughs> Barcelona 3, Valencia nil. What's happening to Valencia and Marcelino? Levante 1, Real Madrid nil. I think this is the second loss for Real this season. Shocking result. And let's go Madrid 3, Villarreal 1. You hear me? Um, I think first look at let's go Madrid Um it was a game that I think Adelco showed us what they are capable of when they are on the front foot. In terms of the personnel that they can bring on to change things. Uh, when Felix came on, it was a different game from then on. Yeah. Villarreal looked a shadow of themselves. 1-1, one, one, I thought they, were really, they deserved to be 1-1. One, one. But once they made those changes, I said, no, this really was not on the bench. It was in the stands. So the changes they made just changed the course of the game. 
of course, Messi, top candidate for Champions League, four goals. Ah, yeah. he must make it. <laughs> but then, Real was shocking. Yeah, shocking. Hazard is out. Injured again. We are out of the Man City. I don't know why they rushed him in the first season. Man City. That's why. No, they can be in time. Look, the season is at the point where he gets hot. Mm -hmm. Easy mean gradually. You already have Vinicius, Rodrigo. Those guys are adding a little something. Is that yeah, I mean, those names that you just called, they are not the dinners are due. They are not the dinners are yes. But they become more or less part and parcel of this team and they are itching. Alright, finally, England, Chelsea 2, Tottenham 1, Burnley 3, Bournemouth 0, Crystal Palace 1, Newcastle 0, Leicester lost at home to Man City, Manchester United 3, Watford 0, Bruno Fernandes name on everybody's list, Wolves 3, Norwich 0, Wolves again scoring 3 after scoring 4, 5, five in midweek, Arsenal 3 to over Everton, that was the result I, I, I didn't see coming. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to win the team of the week, but it was a good last time for me. But then you also have to win the team a lot of credit yeah, with, <laughs> with the way they played. <laughs> but for me, to spare a tough for Manchester City. Psychology plays a huge part in, us, in this game. And I think somehow this bad thing has found a way to creep into the play. Frank Lampard has Jose Mourinho's number. Yeah. Clean. <clears throat> Clear. There's no argument about that one. Manchester United 3 0. Not the best performance you asked for. Watford did deserve to get something from that game. Just the same way, Norwich also did deserve to get something from Wolves. Yeah. And Jimmy Jota and uh, Raul Jimenez were different. Alright, thank you very much, Emma. This is our time. No worries, our friend. Where we are being fun on Sport Express brought to you by MTN. My name is Kingsley Appan. Have a lovely week ahead. Good morning.